Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to my channel. Once again, it is Monday, the sun is shining and the skies are blue. Before I get into today's video, guys, if you do enjoy my content, please remember to give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And feel free to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. I do update on there regularly, so, you know, if you want to be in the loop, go over there and check that out. Today, I decided to talk about something quite serious. Well, not too serious, but shock horror. Just be sitting down for this. I'm gay. What? You didn't know? Well, honey, honey, honey. Um. Well, this just got awkward. So I thought it'd be good to do the LGBT tag. So I've got some questions and I'm gonna read them out and I'm gonna give you my answers and my opinions on the gayness of the gayness of the gayness. Question number one. What do you identify as? Well, I identify as a real boy. I'm gay. I am proud to say that. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's not yeah, I'm gay. Question number two. How do you discover your sexuality? Well, when a boy likes a boy and um, well, things happen, people were interested in the opposite sex, obviously, and I was never really, I mean, I had those kind of, mm, maybe, but I was always like, hmm, look at him, mm. She was my friend, he was my, you know, my fantasies. Question number three. Who was the first person you came out to? Now, I'm not entirely sure who the first person was, but the very few first people were, were my three very best friends, Gareth, Pinner and Leslie. So, I mean, everyone knew, I knew, people at school knew. Everyone kind of knew, but not, I had never written anything in ink to say, I am gay and that is who I am. So, um, it was them and we went to the pub and we had this conversation and there was this whole thing going on and it was a really nice night um, and then, yeah, I told them and they were happy for me and at this time I'd started dating Matt, I think, so, yeah, it was just all kind of flowed, flowed to life, but they were really supportive and they are still my best friends to this day. Question number four. Describe what it was like coming out. Well, this is a very interesting question. I'm actually going to make another video regards to this. Coming out is a funny thing. Um, and it is a bit annoying because I, I never stop coming out. Oh, you've got a boyfriend? Like, well, yeah. And so I'm constantly coming out. So I don't think I'll ever finish coming out. Like, I'll be coming out for the rest of my life. But that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. Um, but coming out, it was very... It was good. I was actually in a very good place. I had a great support network around me. No, I had no issues. No one was... Um, you know, there was none of that negativity that some people do get. So I am very lucky for that. But I mean, yeah, I come out all the time. I come out every single day almost. Um, but I mean, coming out for the first time, it was scary and nervous, nerve-wracking. But once I got through it, um, it was just like, yeah, I'm, I, that's who I am. Question number five. If you are out, how did your parents, guardians, and friends react when you told them? So, a good experience, a good one well, actually is my mum. So, my mum always knew I was gay. I'm pretty sure she did anyway. And, but I had to tell her, like I had to officially say to her, mum, I am gay. I like boys. Um, so what I actually did, I don't know why I did this, but you know, I think it was just my mental state. I was very much like, she's not gonna be like, oh my God, you're disowned, get out of the house now. None of that. But I just wanted, yeah, I just felt like I needed that. So what I did was I took my best friend Gareth round. We sat in the garden, the three of us. There was a fire burning, I think, on like the chimney thingy. Uh, we was having a drink and I was like, so mum, so, so mum, um, I've got, I've got, I've got something to tell you. I like boys. And her response, oh, yeah, darling, I kind of know. And then she told me that basically, like, I buckled her. Um, and I was with this guy and there was laughing and there was joking and it lasted about 10 minutes time. And she didn't hang up. So um, she was like, yeah, honey, I kind of know. And um, yeah, this happened, by the way. 
It was just nice that, you know, it was like a weight lifted off of my shoulder. What is one question I hate people asking about my sexuality? Now, there isn't really anything I don't mind. I have in the past comments like, oh, so, so, so who's, who's the guy and who's the girl? And it's like, well, there is no guy and there is no girl. It's just that there's two guys and they like each other and, you know, that is it. Um, but that's probably the worst thing that I get that I don't like, but I mean, that's very rare anyway. What's your favorite thing about the LGBT community? So I just love the love that you get from the community um, of the, the whole LGBT community. Have you ever been to a gay bar? Well, I think so. I mean, my straight friends have been to gay bars. Um, but no, I do love gay bars, and the reason I love gay bars is there is a sense of fun and laughter and a good night. It, people get drunk, you know, it's good fun. Um, yeah, I've been to gay clubs and they're so much fun. Have you ever been in a relationship and how did you meet? Well, yes, um, I've only been in one actual relationship and I am currently still in that now. Um, I have spoken about Matt, Matt's been in a couple of my videos in the past, um, and it's a great relationship. So we met on the internet, um, before the days of Tinder and stuff, we, you know, we had a little bit of a chat online, we met up, we had a great time, and it just kind of developed from that, um, and here we are five years later having a great time, living in Australia on the other side of the world. Have you ever faced discrimination? Um, but I've never been discriminated because of me being gay, it's more of because of me being annoying, if no, I, I've never really been discriminated against, so no. No, 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 no. What is my favourite LGBT show or movie? RuPaul's Drag Race. Now, it's one of those shows, it's such an iconic show. Um, basically, there's drag queens, um, and they do weekly challenges, um, and there's some good and there's some bad, and then someone gets eliminated, and it's, a, it's just very, it's so much fun. It's full of, like, laughter and fun, and it's just a really good, like, loving show which I really love and you you hear about serious LGBT issues in it as well which is quite a nice kind of side to it um yeah that is my favorite show so yeah that is my LGBT tag um I hope you've learned some more about me maybe some more about the community I don't know maybe this has helped you if you've come out recently or you're still unsure I don't know I'm very bad at this kind of style of video however I am going to try and make some more LGBT videos relating to my coming out story um, and just things generally in my life that you know do, do affect me because I am gay or because I'm not gay but if you did enjoy this and my thoughts my responses please let me know in the comments down below you can also give me a big thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook, all the links will be around here and also in the thingy down below. And other than that, I will see you next week for another video, guys. Bye!